Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Retro Room. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the infamous operating system known as Windows Vista and seeing how it holds up 16 years later. Before we get started, I want to say that this video will not be covering the development and life cycle of Windows Vista, as that could be a whole other video that has already been talked about on YouTube. Today's video will solely be about what programs and services do and do not work on Windows Vista today. Also, I will be running Windows Vista on my 2009 gaming PC instead of a virtual machine. This will ensure that the performance and experience remains accurate. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into this. Starting off with arguably the most important application on any modern computer today, the web browser. The latest versions of Google Chrome, Firefox, and Brave do not run on Vista. However, you can download older versions of these browsers which will run. The main issue when you go this route, however, is that most websites will not load correctly due to the browsers not supporting the latest technologies. Because of this, I recommend using the MyPal browser, specifically the unstable version. MyPal is an open source web browser designed for Windows XP and Vista, and it is based on Firefox 68. Most websites I attempted to load do work, including YouTube, Canva, Google Drive, Google Slides, Discord, and Reddit. However, I was unable to load Spotify or Netflix, due to the website's use of HDCP. Pretty good for an old operating system. Next up, we have gaming. Steam has not been supported on Windows Vista since 2019, and as a result, I cannot install the client, so any games you may have on Steam cannot be played on Vista. However, disc-based games work fine, and I was able to play Crisis? Halo 2, and The Sims 3, to name a few. Realistically, any disc-based game that supports Vista and does not require online authentication to play should work just fine. What about productivity? Unfortunately, I cannot install the latest version of Microsoft Office LibreOffice, Blender, iTunes, or Audacity. However, it is possible to install an older version of these programs, excluding Microsoft Office. The latest versions that worked for me were LibreOffice 5.4.7.2, Blender 2.79, iTunes 11, and Audacity 3.0.2. I should also note that the online versions of Microsoft Office do run on the MyPal browser, so those are always an option if you need to use them. And going off a Microsoft forum post, I discovered that you could install iTunes 12.1.3.6, but I never tested it because I prefer iTunes 11's interface. The last thing I wanted to talk about is security. The built-in Windows Defender is outdated and I was unable to update its virus definitions, so they are from 2006, effectively making the security software useless. It is possible, however, to get alternative antivirus software that works on Windows Vista, such as AVG and Avast. However, this does not solve the problem that Windows Vista has not received security updates in a long time and there are numerous security holes in the operating system, so doing anything confidential or private on Vista is strongly not recommended. If you need to use an old computer for something like banking, either update it to Windows 10 or install a Linux distribution. It also goes without saying that you should be very wary of what links you click on and the software you install as you could be installing something malicious if you are not getting the software from its official site. So should you use Windows Vista in 2023? Absolutely not. It is an outdated system and plenty of newer operating systems exist that would be better suited for your daily computing needs. However, it is nice to look back into the past and see what technology was once like. It also comes in handy when you need to run older software that no longer works on newer Windows versions, such as Windows 10 and Windows 11. That's all I have for you today, and as always, stay retro, and I'll catch you in the next video.